to my channel. Today I have a very special video for you. This is my boyfriend Dylan. Hello. We are going to be filming amateur versus pro. We are both going to be taking photos today. Um, Dylan is a very seasoned Instagram husband to me <laughs> and he also films quite a bit of my behind the scenes. So you've probably seen some of his work already, but technically you have never done a photo never. shoot. Never. He's only filming me doing a photo shoot usually. Um, so we are in this beautiful villa here. It's called Jungle of Bali. Um, they were kind enough to let us film in here. So I'm very grateful. We are shooting with Luca today. I'm going to link her Instagram down below. I'm going to link everybody down below. So make sure to check everybody out. And before we get into this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell button to not miss any of my future uploads. And let's get right into the video. Let's set up some ground rules. First, we are going to be using the same camera as the Sony a7 III with the Zeiss 35 1.4 lens. Secondly, we are going to have two looks that we each have to shoot, one for the indoors and one for the outdoors. How many locations within indoors and outdoors we choose is totally up for us. I want to see how Dylan thinks if he sees different locations to me, if my choices are different to his, if his are more obvious, and so on. Dylan will start in both challenges because he decided that he wants to do that so he doesn't get affected by what I shoot and how I see the space. And finally, we decided to color grade the images ourselves and then send it to a retoucher. I asked my friend Pratik at Solstice Retouch to help us deal with the images. I feel like it's only fair that he retouches it for us because skin and retouching in general is such a different thing to just, you know, taking photos yourself. I don't think retouching and photography should necessarily go hand in hand. Not everybody has the skills to do both. And I feel like I want to compare our photography skills rather than our retouching skills because that's what it will be at the end of the day. Okay, let's find a location. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to use the 35 mil or do you want to use the 24-7 because it's a bit more versatile? No, this is fine. I will, I will zoom with my legs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> okay. Oh, that looks really good. It moved back just a bit so you, um, the sun isn't as on your face. I don't really know what I'm doing, but um, I'm just shooting and... Yes. <laughs> I can't think of a po do you know any good poses to do? <laughs> um, that's just that's not that's not good. That's, that window is boring. No, let's 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 scrap that window. That looks shit. Maybe under here by the uh, the shower thing. Those tiles look cool. Yeah, that looks really good. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm not good at this. <laughs> um, all right, let's go back to the palm tree. I'll take, all right, maybe, maybe come back here again. Um, my settings are F1.4, one thousandth of a second, and ISO 100. And it looks perfectly exposed. Let me just move to the side a little bit. One thing Anita taught me was that you're not supposed to line things up with the head, so. That's a little tip. Can you like maybe face the um, face where the shower is? Yeah, that looks good. Look over the shoulder at me. Yeah, that looks really good. Maybe push your shoulder forward just a little bit. Yeah, and look at me. Yeah, that looks really good. Yeah. Why did you pick this location? Um, because it's green and I like green. And it's shady and it's kind of got nice uh, what's going on lots of like depth and stuff all right you're going sitting down like here sort of i like the way that the light kind of filters through the thing too so all right what kind of poop is oh, there? Gecko, gecko poo? It's animal poop. Oh, I'll, I'll try and photoshop that out <laughs> all right oh that looks good yeah lean forward again that was I might try, I might try and do something with the cactus somehow. Standing? Yeah, yeah. Maybe don't get too close to it just in case it's uh, prickly. Can you look like, yeah, look right down the lens. All 
I think I'm done. <laughs> Very good. Okay, um, we have the same camera, the same lens, 35mm. I'm gonna stick with this look first because I really love the light. And then we're gonna move on and kind of take photos around. So yeah, here is really nice because it's like nice and backlit. Beautiful, yeah. So that's nice. Okay, I'm not gonna shoot on 1.4 because the sharpness might be a bit off. I know where it's changed. Oh yeah, it changed on the lens. So I'm gonna shoot maybe like f4. Um, and then I'm gonna go 400 of a second. I'll take it with the, yeah, beautiful. I'll take it with the la, um, viewfinder because it's easier to see when it's very sunny. Beautiful. Cool. Let's move from here. Um, I wanted to try one just like here on the concrete. Yeah, kind of if you're, yeah. Yeah, perfect, exactly. With this light to the side, so I cannot not go behind a big cloud every three seconds so I can work. Oh my God, what an amateur. Let's see if I can, because I, I like this, I just don't like the background that much here. I'm just wondering if we could do it like backlit, probably not. Actually, do you know what? Let's go into here because here has like nice shadows as well and then I can shoot maybe this way. Yes. I really love the colors of the concrete and the swimmer as well. I think it works really well. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yes, love that. Yeah, that's beautiful. Perfect. Yeah, that's beautiful. Okay. I hope I won't die. Okay. I love that. I just don't love the table. So let me see if I can move it. This is how you break your back. Yeah, I love that. I love the colors because it's like so nice with the swimwear being kind of close to the color of the background here. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay, um, I think I'm done with that. So we're going to go for the second uh, location now. Anita's wet Luca's hair, so a slightly wet look, I don't know, is that what you call it? Um, so I'm going to try a few spots, I'm going to try on the stairs first I think, so. Alright, I'm going to have to bring the ISO up I think. Alright, um, can you get like a bit closer to the wall please? Thank you. Yeah, maybe take the, I don't really like the the dressy thing, so we get rid of that. <laughs> yeah, actually, that looked good when you were standing before. Can you try standing and kind of like leaning forward? Yeah, like hold on to that rail and lean forward. Yeah, it looks good. I'm gonna try and shoot from the top as well. See how that goes. Uh, maybe this angle is a bit too extreme. Looks good though. All right, I think I'm done with the stairs. <laughs> For the second one, I was going to try and put these in the background, so I'll get you to sit like on the table or maybe. Put you... Let me try and get some of the kitchen stuff in the background. So. Maybe we'll do some stuff with the, the, the window here. So maybe if you come about here, put your arms back up again. Just trying to get the right light on the face. Yeah. Oh, that was kind of cool. Yeah, that's good. My arms are sore, and I've, 
think I'm running out of ideas. <laughs> I feel like the biggest problem when you start photography, and I was like that as well, is the relationship you have with the model. It's very easy to freak out and be like, I don't know what I'm doing. But when you project that kind of energy, then the model gets that kind of energy as well, and that's not what you want in the shoot. So it's always better to just kind of fake it till you make it and just pretend that you're as comfortable and you know you know all the shots and you know where you want to be because then she's just gonna go with it and at the end of the day you're the only one that knows if the photos are turning out good or not because she doesn't see them so a lot of the times i would take photos and i wasn't sure about the look or something and i would just keep going through it especially when i was like you know beginning because it just helps the model to feel a bit more relaxed and a bit more confident in the shoot as well Okay. okay, I want you to be sitting down on the floor, just like maybe your elbow, kind of one elbow on the table. Yeah. Yeah, actually I like that. So I love this because I'm having the, the stairs kind of lean out of the frame. I think it's really cool. I will have to balance them afterwards because they're a bit dark, but I think it's gonna look really nice. Maybe I'll go here, let's see how that looks. I go here. Ah, yeah, that's much better because the light is all here. Beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. And chin down a tiny bit. Yeah, beautiful. And maybe like take one of the things off. Yeah. Be a bit promiscuous. <laughs> Sorry. So, how do you feel? <laughs> um, yeah, it was good. It was. I was like pretty nervous beforehand, but uh, was it as bad as you imagined it to be? I think it was as bad as okay. I imagined it to be. So, I knew I'd be nervous. Um, but yeah, it, I, I'm interested to see how the photos turned out. Mine are probably all out of focus, um, but yeah. I mean, Sony Focus is pretty good, so. I feel like we had this conversation um, yesterday. It's like, there's a lot that comes into a photo shoot, you know? Um, it's, I think it's relatively much easier to be in your position where you're a first timer coming into a set where you have an experienced model already, you have a beautiful location. Because I feel like a lot of photographers, when they start out, you start out with like the bare minimum, you start with like people that are your friends that don't really know how to pose. You know, yeah. we were lucky that like Luca is a very good poser, so you didn't really have to direct. Absolutely, that like because that was one of the things I noticed. Like, as soon as you put the camera in front of like a good location, great model, it's just it already looks good. But then there's that extra step, which is the the posing and yeah. you know the, the you know the capturing the right light that yeah. really makes the photos. Yeah, I feel like you know. For your first time, I think you did very well. You directed the model quite a lot. I find when I did my first shoot, I literally wouldn't speak to the model at all. I would just sit there silently taking photos. So it was much more intimidating for me. Um, and I find like you directed the model way more. So it was really, really good. I think um, I just, I wish I knew some more poses to direct the model into because I found times when I was just like, you know, kind of look this way, I look that way, but I didn't really know like some other things to do like where to hold the hands like how to like pose the body like it was just there's things that i saw you doing that i wish i knew how to do yeah. um but I, and that's like you've got years and years of experience i'm i, I posed you <laughs> there's, there's just certain things that i know what that work you know like shooting swimwear you know shooting like the water droplets on the body it makes it more interesting that was a good one posing I I could do. posing <laughs> the model posing the model against certain textures that will make the image more kind of captivating so there's definitely things that you can do um, but as i said it's just something that i built over the years over doing shoots and shoots and shoots and you know kind of eventually coming up with this list of stuff that works and that looks pretty good so I guess, bottom line, it's just about practice. Okay, so what did you feel, think about the challenge? How did you feel he performed, considering it was his first time? Um, I think he was a bit nervous. Yes, definitely. But, um, <laughs> yeah, no, overall, I would like to shoot again. <laughs> there you go. But, uh, no, I think it was, I mean, we have a beautiful location and the light was very nice, so. But I definitely think like you were much better the second time. Okay. Yeah. 
Because you were not panicking as much. You weren't like, oh, I don't know yeah, what I'm doing. You went like closer and you were walking around me instead of me walking around you. It's yeah. just nice. Yeah. yeah. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out Lucas' Instagram. I'm going to link it down below. And if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.